Hi guys, I know it's Monday and you're like, mm, American posting on a Monday. Yeah, American posting on a Monday because this is the last day of January and I didn't give you all your surprise video. So, mm, yeah, here is surprise video number one. It's my very first surprise video because, I mean, I usually do story times. You all are used to story times. So, this is new, very new, but that's okay um here is never have i ever part one i think it's gonna be like two parts because i have over 40 questions and you know i does real talk so in between each question i might take like a good two minutes three minutes and die real time so it might be two parts but let me see how it will go so the first question never have i ever been in a fight i've never been in a fight i don't fight i don't fight i mean i've been in like if you're talking about physical stuff, nah, not me. But my mouth big and like, I've been in like arguments, but not like fights, like coughing face and thing. Mm -mm, I don't do that. So yeah, never have I ever traveled to another Caribbean island. I went to Grenada when I was like five years old, but I can't really remember much. And it wasn't like a good stay. So I don't really count it, but yes. I have, but no, because you know, I can't really remember it. So, yeah, um, I want to go to Jamaica, though. I really want to go to Jamaica and Barbados, and I want to try back Grenada because I never got to enjoy it and I don't remember shit. So, yeah, never have ever gotten drunk. No, I mean, last year, late last year, I think it was like November, October, November, I got drunk and it was it was good it was bad it was i was just nauseous but it was good because i was just like floating and it was good <laughs> it was good um never ever ever seen myself getting back with my child father no i mean i can't say getting back the person said getting back but i didn't get back there was nothing to get back. We were just friends. And if you are a real OG and you've been here since day one, you know that we were just friends. So there's no, there, there wasn't any getting back, you know? It was just, yeah. It's, but I did think about it in the, when, in the earlys when I was like pregnant and about to give birth, probably like December, January, I thought about it and I was really like, I was, I was really thinking about getting with him because I wanted my son to have both parents. But then when I really sat and think about it, I realized that I was just going to put myself into the situation that I didn't want to be in. And we would have just been unhappy because one, we weren't mature enough to be in each other's space. And I hated him. So we would have been arguing a lot and then all this energy would have transferred to the baby and then when the baby was born, you know, it would have just be weird and then, mm -mm. so I re when I really thought about it, I was like, nope, no, nope. because I mean, I'm going to make myself unhappy and then I'm going to be unhappy when I'm dealing with my child, whereas now I'm happy, he's happy, I'm a tears. Well, he's happy, y'all can see that. So he has two happy parents and, you know, because it's better than just having two arguing parents all the time. You know, that's how I thought about it. So, yeah. Mm, no. Um, have you ever, ever, have you ever, ever, <laughs> never have I ever done drugs? I never did drugs. I mean, I, I, I got, I mean, I ate like edibles once or twice. Or five or six times <laughs> but, but i never like smoke anything or you know nothing nothing else no no just edibles don't do drugs kids anyways um never have i ever dark school or skip school because i know not everybody know the terminologies but yeah Never ever skip school. I never skip school. I can't skip school. My mother used to drop me to school. And when she didn't drop me to school, because there was a point in time when I used to travel, 
and when i'm traveling i feel like my mother know everybody or everybody know my mother so i walk in on the street and them get a phone call like i just see marika okay she don't need to know that and she would just be like yeah she's supposed to be going to lessons now like why she know that you know mind your business mind your business but no i never skip school i do classes like i skip classes and then i get detention but i never skip school you know what i mean yeah um never have i ever take something from my sibling that my sibling didn't know about um no because from like zero to fourteen, Jonal and I had the same bedroom. So if I'm stealing anything, she would be right there. She would see <laughs> that I'm stealing something. <laughs> and even now that we have different rooms, I <laughs> I just can't see stuff right. So I she would either catch me in the process of stealing it. And it's only ever clothes, eh? I steal her clothes all the time. I mean, siblings do that. And we're sisters, I'm really the same size. So she either catch me while I'm stealing it or while I'm returning it. And she's like, uh, you had that? Or why you take my thing, you know? And it's like, your stuff is my stuff. Come on, I thought you knew this. But yeah. Never have I ever regretted doing the nasties. Not when it comes to Mateo, no. Um, but I did regret doing the nasties with somebody. It makes sense. Uh, so I have, so I have, but just not, re not anything related to that time with Matthew. Um, because I feel like if I regret that, then I regret having my son. And uh, no, I don't regret having my son. Um, never have I ever fought and got suspended. Like I said, I don't fight we don't fight and i never got suspended and my school that i went to the high school that i went to they don't they you have to do something real terrible to get suspended like out of school suspension because they really have in-house suspension which is like you get suspended from being in your class so you have to take your desk and your chair and you have to put it outside the staff room and it's like public humiliation because everybody passing and seeing you sitting there with your desk and your chair and honestly that is worse than than home suspension because home suspension nobody actually know that you get suspended like they just don't see you in school but in home suspension is terrible because everybody's seeing you and it's terrible i just said it's terrible but yeah and i forgot what i did to get in home suspension but I, I got in our suspension before. Not seven days out of school and saying like how um secondary schools regular secondary schools does have it. You know? Yeah. There's some bougie shit in, in that school. <laughs> but yeah. Um never have I ever snuck out. No. Because Michelle does sleep very light. Like she would hear the slightest thing. And it's so strange, huh? If if you know like all of us linemen, like me, my mother, my sister, and the, and the grandkids, and she happened to fall asleep on the couch, she out cold. But you see when night time come, and where, you know, all the movements comes in, she's sleeping light. Like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if it's just like a mother's instinct or something. But I mean, I never try to sneak out, you know. It's just like, I know that she's hearing all the time, you know. So why would I try? To get caught <laughs> i'm crazy i had to be crazy no 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 anyways um never have i ever hit mateo i don't beat mateo like with a belt or a spoon or anything that these caribbean parents do that's abuse i don't do that but if mateo is doing something that i told him not to do so if i tell him once mateo don't do that I tell him twice, Mateo don't do that. The third time, I would tap him. Not in his head or anything. Like, just tap him. I told you not to do that. Mommy said not to do that, you know? But, like, continuously, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And he's two. No. No. Um, Never have I ever had sex after giving birth. 
so good. You think I'm sell what? You think I practice abstinence? I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I forget that that adults like people's parents be watching me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yes, I have. I'm not going to explain anything else. I have. <laughs> never have I ever. Never have I ever had sex with my baby daddy after finding out I was pregnant. No, that was a one-time thing. That's not going to happen again. Um, never have I ever gave out a fake number. I gave out a fake name before. Um, my fake name was either Alia or Shania. So I would just say, my name is Shania or my name is Alia, you know? But my numbers, no, I never give out a fake number. I would just either not give you it or give you my real money, my real number, you know? Yeah. Um, never have I ever smoked weed. No, I don't like to see females smoking. You know, like, if, if it's, like, studs or masculine females, then it's fine. But I don't like to see, like, girly females smoking. That's just me, yeah? But I I just don't like it. And I can't see myself smoking. Mm -mm. Not my thing. And I might cough. <laughs> like, crazy. Because. Mm -mm. But, yeah. Um, never have I ever drunk dialed your ex. The first time I got drunk was late last year um like october i told you and while i was drunk i was in a relationship so i just called my boyfriend i didn't call an ex and i don't have any of my ex's numbers my brain is trash i can't remember their numbers either so anyways um never have ever spoke to two boys at once I have. And the crazy thing about that was that they were friends. Yeah, Marika, Marika was bad. Marika was bad. But we'll, we'll leave that story another time. Because, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> never have I ever liked your boyfriend's brother. No, not me thinking about the boyfriends that I had. Um, no, no. I think I always got like the nice looking sibling, you know? Or maybe, maybe it's just me because when I'm with somebody, their family just becomes unattractive, you know? And I'm talking about blood brothers, huh? Blood brothers blood relatives yeah um next never have ever regretted something you did in life yeah i have I'm not gonna talk about it though um never have i ever tried to pray away your pregnancy <laughs> i did i did the night i found out i thought it was a mistake i thought that both <laughs> pregnancy tests that i took were false positives i was like nope that not true i was in denial <laughs> i was in denial i was talking to god i was i was really just questioning questioning him like why why me um you know why why this happening like you know all these different things and i was just talking to him praying you know and then the day after i found out we went to get an ultrasound to see how far along i was and while i was like going to the ultrasound i was saying just make it be like I think they just saw something else, you know, and and like I was saying, what if it was like a cyst or something, and just something just triggered the false positive, and yeah, I prayed about it, and I was like, mm -mm, you know, better not be a baby, you know. But yeah, when I found out it was a baby, though, I just like the sonographer, she told me, yup, she's pregnant, and then my mom was like, so it can't be anything else. She was like, nope, that's a baby. And I was like, damn. I saw her crying on the, on the, what do you call it, the table? The bed thing. And I was just like, wow, you know? But I mean, by that time, 
I had already done hours of crying because I cried the whole night that I found out I was pregnant. I cried, I cried, I cried. And then that day too, I cried. And if it wasn't by the end of that day, it was probably like the beginning of the next week. I really just decided that, you know, I was going to keep my baby. But after the ultrasound, my mom was like, so what are we going to do? You know, what do we want to do? And, you know, yeah. But I did try. So I have. Um, never have I ever cheated. I mean, I was like 13. So does that even count? And it wasn't like cheating. Like I kissed another boy or I was with another person. I just... <laughs> okay so i was with this guy this boy i was with this boy i was 13 he was probably 13 too i was with this boy and then there was another guy i think i was yeah i was 13 maybe 14 there was another boy he was older than both of us probably by like a year maybe two years and he said something like something that you would say in a relationship and i said it back like i didn't like shut it down i was just like okay like if this is not what he said but if if you know he said i love you i said i love you too basically but that wasn't my boyfriend and you know and then there was this whole big drama on instagram because um somebody screenshot that post because it was on facebook it was on facebook facebook timeline that boy he was it's just trouble <laughs> that boy posted on my timeline the thing i think he said something like baby mama and i just replied and i was like baby daddy and my new dad's not mateo's dad today huh? that's somebody else but yeah and we didn't do anything we never did anything me and that guy we no kissed or anything like that so it was really just a joke to me so yeah and then the other guy the guy that the boy that i was with didn't take it as a joke and i was like yeah but why are you gonna like that and then i realized was, he can only ship it so i started going to ship it and then there was this big thing on instagram and blah 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 yeah it went on for like two months so terrible but yeah um never have i ever went with my friend man to be honest boys in that school i went was recycled there wasn't a guy that was with somebody that wasn't with somebody else in that school so i have i have and i don't think i don't think anybody really dig horrors of it i mean let me take that back people some people get upset they're like yeah but so and so was with he why is she with he but I mean, you're not together anymore. So. But yeah, I have. And I'm sorry if I sound like a whore. <laughs> I am not. I am not. And I was 13, 14, 15. And I never did anything nasty with these people. It was really just, that's my boyfriend. And you know, we texting, texting, texting. We talk on the phone. But that was it. It wasn't anything physical. My primary school. Hear me primary school. My secondary school boyfriends wasn't really boyfriends. You know? Like, we didn't used to, like, do anything. And even if we went out, I would tell my mom that I'm going out with the girls. So, it, I don't even count the, those relationships. But, yeah. Yeah. And now I don't have friends. So, that's probably why. <laughs> but, yeah. Never have I ever kissed somebody you... Never have I ever. <laughs> Never have I ever kissed someone I just met. No. Everybody I kissed, I knew... For like a while you know even if we like fell off and then the first date back because i still knew them from way back when you know you know what i mean so no no um never have i ever kissed someone younger than you yes i think he was like a year younger than me and he was shorter than me as well and i am pretty damn short or he was probably my height yeah it was probably like right here you know i hear he here yeah it wasn't any like and again, I was in early secondary school. 
that was probably like 30 and i think that was like my first kiss or second oh yeah he was a year younger so i have um never have i ever been a side chick no or if i was i didn't know about it you know i thought i was the main i always think i'm the main so never have i ever lied about liking someone to avoid hurting their feelings i have i have not only like people my age to tell them you know i like you or whatever but like teachers and like you know just random people they're like yeah i like you or i like that you know because i i, I can't say no sometimes and i and i just don't like hurting people's feelings you know i'm a softy so yeah i do that also sometimes it's like to protect myself because i'm pretty tiny and some people take it weird you know like i don't like them and they don't like rejection and you know what i mean so i just you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, until i'm in a safe space and then yeah yeah um never have i ever regretted having material i never regretted having material or regretted having sex because that's how i got material so no i will never regret my son and yeah i think i'm gonna stop there because you know you know we have about 20 more questions 20 so tune in for part two i would try to give you all by the end of this week and then i am going to give you all the story time that you've been asking for after part two so yeah thanks for listening i hope you enjoyed this because you know this is my first time doing like this kind of thing i guess it was kind of like a q a but not really so yeah also stay tuned for like surprise videos because i give hints and i ask for like questions like these on my instagram so you should go follow me there every all my all my other social medias are in the description box below and yeah i love you so much thanks for all the support and thanks for tuning in um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe bye